Well, it seems like family members of the opposing side or the side that's for Darley and their crimes are an issue now at this point. It seems like Darley's camp feels like it's ironic, according to Danelle, Darley's baby sister, that I would speak out about Darley's guilt since my son was given a life sentence for murder. And in regards to that, I have been covering true crime cases for quite a while when my son caught that case, and Darley's was one of them. They, Dar Danelle seems to think that it's ironic, according to what she posted on TikTok, that I would speak out against Darley when my son has done this, too. Well, I've spoke out against my own son before on social media. I'm not down for him to be released. And I damn sure ain't down for Darley to be released. So I don't play favorites when it comes to that. But I think it's ironic that Dennis Stahl here, according to testimony in a Darley Routier case from D Darley herself, began fondling her the first time at age eight. But then, if you read further into the testimony, when Darley was on the stand, she was questioned as to why she would let Devin and Damon go spend the day overnight with Dennis after he had done that to her. Darley's answer on the stand was, the only reason I let him go is because my sister, Danelle, was there as well. When I spoke to Danelle about this, she said she didn't know anything about it. Don't know anything about it. Don't want to talk about it. Don't know anything about it. So if she didn't know anything about it, so if she didn't know anything about it, how is she able to keep her eye out? Darley would trust Dennis, Darley would trust Dennis after he did that to her. And Darley, res Darley said that she resented her mother because she didn't believe him. She didn't believe her. Now, the supporters have tried to downplay the, the, the effect of this molestation. But the fact of the matter is that since Darley was abused as a child this way, it could have led to some psychological damage to her that would cause her to commit a crime as like what she did. So when Darley reported this to her mother, the effects of this abuse on Darley went untreated. She had to bottle those feelings up. But she did say she resented her mother for it. To this day, Dennis Stahl, and they have kids together, I understand that, is still on Darley Key's friends list. The kids are grown now, she doesn't need to be there. But but let's talk about family members. Because I think it's ironic. You know, that you know, is it does that mean that since since Dennis Stahl is a molester, does that mean that that will travel down into his siblings or his offspring? Because that's what it seems to be when you say, why does Brian St. John get to speak out? Well, why do you get to speak out about Darley's innocence and then go over, just leave this whole subject alone? Don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. You want to talk about psychological effects on people. They want to talk about, you know, PTSD. Let's talk about the effects of being touched by a stepfather and telling your mother and she didn't believe you and stayed with the man. Can you imagine the resentment, resentment that Darlie harbored inside her because the family didn't believe her? If they did believe her, they would have pressed charges on the man. 
or maybe they maybe they knew he did it and just cried, tried to keep it all hush hush. So let's talk about family members of people that are speaking out for people on Texas death row. Let's do that. But wait, there's more. Tell me what you think about that. 